Hi guys, welcome back. So today we are going to be doing another product review that I was given for Christmas by a friend of mine. And this one is another Winsor & Newton acrylic product. Now I have actually used Winsor & Newton pretty much throughout my whole artistic career because I know in terms of good quality products when I see them, especially with the oil paints, oil paint you cannot go wrong. I haven't actually used any of their linseed or distilled terps or anything similar to do to help improve oil painting but when it comes to their materials of oil paints I can definitely recommend them I can't recommend them enough in terms of pigmentation and quality even though it is acrylic paper it doesn't mean you necessarily have to use that material on it because I actually don't use acrylics at all unless I'm doing acrylic paint, acrylic painting, acrylic pour. That is just how I've always been. I feel like acrylic paint doesn't stay wet enough for me to use it. It just kind of gets solid quite quickly. Whereas oil paints, you've got about up to a week depending on how you mix your pigments together. So what I would do in this basis, I would use on this type of paper watercolour and maybe a bit of print paint, printmaking, if I can get my words out. So this is the board, I've sort of got a lovely picture of their acrylic paints and at the bottom just acrylic at the size, the acid free and then you've got all their lovely logos. Inside you actually have a, a kind of a invite page is that the right word for it it's where it's just like a short explanation of what if it was focus of what to expect from the paper and how it how the paper can kind of improve your experience of painting and then at the bottom you've got some of their products as well as a further more explanation in three different languages so on first impressions the paper does feel quite quite smooth and well thought out you can see the lines and zigzaggy all the way through and it does feel very much like expensive paper but on the other side you've actually got my, a bit more of a smoother surface it's not it doesn't feel like it's being glossed or anything so maybe that's one thing consider to consider you might not need the actual page that is needed for you might actually want to use the back as usual I'm going to be using my wonderful walk colors that I bought from Amazon I have done a product review on this and I'll leave it in the description below if you'd like to see a more in-depth version. The object I'm actually going to be drawing from and using watercolour from is this little plant. It's definitely seen better days but I think the texture and the form of it is quite sweet and nice. And I mean it's quite cute as well. So we're going to do one of them, a drawing of that with the watercolour on top and then I'm going to do a watercolour and two prints. Watercolour drawing here and then do my print over here. I'm just going to grab a pencil. Kind of get a three in one because you're trying out drawing on the paper as well as the, how well it, it holds. lines it's actually a really nice smooth surface there's no problems with it obviously scratching onto the paper scratching um relieving itself onto the paper Definitely one of those objects you don't realise, but I knew it was going to be complicated, but there's so much detail that you need to add in.
first bit always is a bit more watery due to you have to wet your brush I think a few years ago I actually really hated watercolour but I've actually found that there's a correlation between the materials that I work with and ones I don't and that is I haven't found a way around being able to use them in my art artist practice without running into some trouble so materials that I often don't like I actually end up working in and then the materials I find difficult to work in are the ones that I just haven't found a way around working in which is something interesting I found if anyone else is struggling Please do that. I'm just going to add in a bit of salt to my.
That was a very rude cat making an entrance. Hello. She's got pop off her and she doesn't like to be by herself. It's a bit dark, so I'm just gonna It does look a bit more watered down on the camera, I believe it's just the lighting, but it is a bit more pigmented and I am happy with how this has turned out. The fact that it is acrylic paper and yet you can use watercolour on it, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's just subject subjected to one material. This one's a negative space of a plant, but one of my plants I've got hanging in my hallway. much out of blue because purple seems to have dulled down a little bit. Hasn't made it as exciting as I would like to have been. Because it's watercolour, the water will sit on the surface. And because the paper isn't actually meant for watercolour, it means it will sit on the surface a bit more, allowing the ink to transfer off a bit more freely. For anyone who's new to my channel, I don't have a print, proper printing press, I don't have the space or money for it. Hopefully that will change in the future when my channel is up and running a bit more in terms of views and subscribers because I really like that. I mean I have plenty to offer it's just getting the amount of time and money together because it currently I'm saving up for a house. <laughs> I would really like to get out of this property. It is a really nice house, but it is we just overgrown it. Outgrown it, sorry. A while ago. Okay. Yep. Beautiful. A really good print for acrylic paper. This paper is not one of those bits of paper that you can use it for single use. You can use it for for more than just acrylic paint, such as watercolor, pencil, and even printmaking, which to me is 
it blows my mind because I prefer paper that is used for more than one thing because then you don't have to go out buy loads of materials for each individual piece of medium that you need and then you've got to find room to store it because if you're like me where you have limited space in your studio or even a cupboard or even just a corner you don't want to be making large purchases on several different bits of pieces. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm very, very happy with how this has worked out. I'm really impressed by the quality, with the quality of the paper. I can never go wrong with Winsor Newton, their quality and purpose of materials. And once again, their paper has pretty much made me fall in love with them all over again. Because it, A3 is quite a big size for this sketchbook, you can do what I've done, is where you've put two different pieces together and you can just turn them into A4 pieces of work. From what you've seen you can probably guess of my thoughts and my next ideas of what to do with this paper. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give this video a like and subscribe to see more videos like this. I hope you have enjoyed it and don't forget to comment and check out my social medias in my description box to see extra little bits and to find me on social media as well. And I shall see you guys next time. Bye now.